Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how Bad Bunny is leaving music. Let's get right into it. The Puerto Rican urban star announced that he will retire from the music industry in 2023 to focus on his physical and mental health, as well as enjoy the fruits of his labor over the past several years. Bad Bunny told Billboard, I'm taking a break. For me, 2023 is for my physical health, emotional health, to breathe, enjoy my successes. He then added, we're going to celebrate. We're going to be here. We're going to be there. We're going to be on the boat. Despite the fact that he will be available for sporadic engagements, we will hear less of El Conejo Malo's iconic history-making music that he has released over the last two years, four albums in total, that have put him at the top of global music charts. He added that he will still be producing music in a studio for his fans, but without the pressure from music executives. During the interview, the star discussed how far he feels he has come in his life and career, healing a large part of himself and understanding the drastic change his life took when he became famous. He said, I would say at this point in my life and career is where I feel most focused. He then added, I feel clearer than I am and who I am in comparison to the music industry. Saying that he will enjoy his money. How much are we actually talking about here? Despite the fact that his career began in 2013, Bad Bunny released his debut single, Ultra Vez, with Kelman and Daryl in 2016. With their up-tempo beats and reggaeton influences, the SoundCloud release and several others quickly became popular. The assumption was that as his fame grew, so would his net worth. While the pay increase from his early days is significant, it appears that sources can't agree on a single figure. While Figurilla clocks his number in at about $8 million, while Pop Buzz doubles that at $16 million, and net worth spot gives him a whopping estimate of somewhere between $87 million and up to $121.71 million. Bad Bunny's $16 million report in 2021 gives way to accuracy as one of Spotify's most streamed artists, while $8 million may leave fans wondering where his wealth went in 2022. With net worth spot providing the most recent data, the assumption is that their figures are the most accurate. Whatever the number is, it's bound to rise with Bad Bunny's popularity as his career soars. Bad Bunny, like many other artists, has a diverse range of performances and appearances. From being on the cover of Playboy to competing in WWE's 37th WrestleMania in 2021, with his staggering number of projects, it's safe to say he's well over six figures. Tickets to a Bad Bunny concert start at $78 and average $4,808, according to one source. His ticket prices are comparable to those of Doja Cat and The Weeknd. According to Net Worth Spot, Bad Bunny's earnings are estimated to be around $21.73 million per year. However, they believe that this is a low estimate that could be increased to $39.12 million. So, where does Bad Bunny's money go? Bad Bunny is known to own multiple million dollar cars, but when he purchased his Bugatti Chiron, he reportedly had no idea what to do with it. He even told Marca that when the supercar was in Puerto Rico, every one of his friends wanted a picture with it. However, since bringing it to the United States, the surrounding hype has significantly diminished. Still, not enough to make him feel comfortable keeping the $3 million ride. Though it's not just cars that seem to be catching the Lo Siento BB singer's eye, Bad Bunny also enjoys frequenting sports events alongside his girlfriend Gabriella and indulging in romantic trips or quarantine staycations. He is not immune to bling and is a fan of jewelry designer Georgina Trevio. She created a number of accessories for his Yo Perio Sola music video in which he dressed up as a drag queen and needed a beautifully embellished choker. However, since his girlfriend's jewelry business appears to be taking off, Gabriella may be his first port of call for any new adornments. Fans have theorized that Bad Bunny's net worth is tens of millions of dollars higher than the previous estimate due to the fact that he naturalized as a Puerto Rican and signed with competing record labels. Being signed to Rimas Music in Puerto Rico and Universal Music Latin Entertainment, which is a subsidiary of Universal Music Group and is located in Los Angeles, California, presents many financial considerations that overlap with one another and compete with one another. There are numerous sources that might take into account one label but not the other or they might completely disregard revenue from a platform like YouTube. On the video sharing website alone, he makes between three and seven dollars per 1,000 views. When you consider that he has 45 million subscribers, it is possible that ignoring these figures will result in an inaccurate estimation of his true net worth. Nonetheless, fans of Bad Bunny continue to support and love the singer. With his fame still in its early stages, his net worth is bound to fluctuate before it can be properly assessed. Fans can only hope that they will be pleasantly surprised when they see the true number. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one. Stay safe out there, guys, and if you're a bad bunny, try not to spend all your money in one place.
especially since you're going to be leaving the music industry.